Hello, Cherries. Welcome to Live Jerry Cherry Sunday, episode 92. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to solo over Can't Find My Way Home from Blind Faith. And I want to thank my man, Ozman5151, for suggesting this song. And um, it's such an interesting song, beautiful song. And there's so many really cool chord changes. And it could be a little tricky if you wanted to just solo over to improvise. And so I'm going to break it down a little bit. And I just want you to know that this is not a lesson on how to play the song, although I will show you the chords. And I'm, I'm going to play it, but it's not going to be like the picking the, the exact pattern and all that stuff, but it's basically the chords. And I'm going to show you how to improvise over the song. So just want to say hello to some my friends here in the chat. Oz man. Give you a round of applause here. Let me know if you can hear everything okay. If you can hear me, if you can hear my guitar, a lot of good stuff. All right. Hello, Kelly. So, as usual, I will put a timestamp right in the um, description for when I start with the lesson, which will be in a minute. But I just want to give you guys a round of applause and uh, say hello to my friend Kelly. Hello. You hear me great? That is good news. Good news, Oz, man. And hopefully you guys are caffeinated. Ooh, my chat's in a weird spot, or the comments in a weird spot. I have to move that over here. <laughs> That's funny. Welcome to Sunday morning. I'll put it where Kelly's is, right there. Right there. I think it's in the same spot. <laughs> I don't know how it wound up over there. Oz, man, you're all over the place. Hopefully you're enjoying your Sunday morning having some coffee. I got my Jerry Cherry mug right here. Hopefully you have a mug too with your name on it. <laughs> Rocking the Rockies. Hello. Jay Treetop. What's happening? All right. Well, we got a great song here today. Can't find my way home. It was Osman's idea because it's really interesting to solo over. It's like, you know, you could play the minor pentatonic over most of it you know, and get away with it. <clears throat> Hello, Tom G. Give you guys a round of applause. All right. Good to see you. <clears throat> so what I did was, <clears throat> excuse me, I created a, um, on my um, Pro Tools, I um, recorded the song, basically, a progression of just the, the chords and a, and a tambourine. <laughs> And um, if you want that, just let me know. Email me at info at jerrycherry.com and, um, and I'll just email you the backing track for free, obviously, and just so you could solo over it and have fun with it. And I did record it with a, um, a low drop D. And, uh, but when I'm soloing here, I just have it straight tuned for this. But when I recorded the, the backing track, I did drop the D on that. So Rockin' the Rockies, one of your favorite songs. I play it in drop D, of course. You got to play it in drop D. You have to. You don't have to, but it's nice, right? <laughs> All right, so uh, just get on. Let me. I'll, I'll do a run through of it once, and then I'll give you a little description. And when I talk about the chords, I'm going to show you the circle of fifths, so you could see, like, because there's like three key changes. This is like a jazz standard almost. The song. <laughs> there's like three, literally like three different key changes in the song and it's just weird but you don't have to really go that deep into it you can just keep it simple which is what we're going to do but i'm going to show you some possibilities that um so you can understand why you might be struggling a little bit with um with this one which i may be too let's see that's a, the trick of playing it live you never know what you're going to get right <laughs> all right all right guys thank you but without any further ado, let's go ahead and run through this once, and then we'll um, have some fun, and then I'll show you what I'm doing.
<laughs> so there you have it. That is my rendition of Can't Find My Way Home. <clears throat> and um, I just love it. I think it's a really interesting chord progression. And um, there's a lot you can do over it. So, yeah. Thank you, Tom G. Give you a round of applause for that. All right, Oz, man. Hopefully that helped a little bit. So let me just um break down here real quick what I'm doing. And really, I have to play the song. You can drop the D. Right? <laughs> Thank you, Jay. So um, the song's basically in, you know, you play, it's, it's really D. You know, you have the D, but it starts on the C chord. So it goes to a C, and then to the B note. And it drops to a B flat. So really, the key is G. Let me just show you something real quick. I want to show you this circle. If you look at this circle of fifths right here, you'll see, like, look at the key of G. It would be um, 1 o'clock, G, right? So if you look after it, you see a D. If you look before it, you'll see a C. So really, that D is really like a 5 chord. So this whole, like, song is basically the D is a 5 chord, like a mixolydian. It has this, this sound to it. But you could play like a pentatonic over it too. As a matter of fact, the vocal melody line is major. And it switches back and forth major minor. So Osman, I owe you. If you ever come to Vegas, dinner's on me. Awesome. <laughs> well, I plan to come to Vegas again very, very soon. Love it there. So as you can see, so it's the key of G at the start. So I'm playing a C chord here, and a B. It's all like relative to G. Let me tune this back up now that I'm soloing. Okay, we'll just go through the progression while I'm tuned down. <laughs> when it goes to B, you're really hitting, um, you're switching keys for the first time right now. The B flat chord right here is really the four chord. And you can break this down a few different ways, but the way I hear it and the way I see it is the B flat. Now you're really in the key of F. Because you have an F, you have a C. So F would be like a, a four chord. You're in the key of F now over that. So you switch from the key of G to the key of F, but still you're like thinking D. So you're thinking, what is F in, in D? Well, it's really D minor. So when it goes to B flat, you're going to change the, the, the scale to back to major. So you could play like C minor, a, a D minor. Okay. And it goes to an A, to a D again. With an A bottom. So it's really like a chromatic line down. B, C, B, B, B flat, A. But A is really the fifth of, of D, so it's really going to D major right there. So you have a... chord you have F you know You with me so far? If you if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I like groovy stuff. Tom G, Hard Rock Cafe, Osman. Yeah. Love it. I played in um Vegas many times. With a few different musical bands with Chubby Checker and with 
an ABBA tribute band called ABBA Cadabra, who's actually the, there right now playing at the South Points, if you know where that is, the South Point Hotel. Uh... Okay, so that's the beginning of the progression. You could take a D minor pentatonic scale. Or D mixolydian. And then over the um, D minor. Back, back to D major. So you have C, B, B flat, D. So right there I would do a mixolydian. And then D minor. Back to D. So you have... Back to D major. And when it goes to F, G, there's another key change right there. The F to the G, now it's really C. So what happens when you play an F chord and a G chord? You know that's the 4 5 of C. So right there for that progression, those two chords, I could play really the D Dorian scale. I know it sounds like a lot, but. And then. Resolve to D major. So right there, I got three different keys. Starting off with a D mixolydian. Mixolydian. And now D minor. Back to D major. And now D Dorian. You know? And really, all that D Dorian is, is the C major scale, right? Because you have F. And G, it's basically C, but D is the two chord of C, so you have that, that D right there. And there's a difference right there, because you play a D minor earlier, right? You can't play a D minor over that as well, because you could be playing a B flat over this. And you don't want that. You could, you could play the B. And what's fun about that is you could play anywhere. You could play the A minor scale. As long as you land back on D major. Hear that? Okay. <laughs> and um, so then the next part, it goes to a. Uh, it's really it's a B over a G. Then A, then D. So right now, it's another key change. That's a, a four chord, a five chord, to D. Go figure. A G to an A to a D. The way I'm playing that D is I'm not playing it so, so major sounding. I'm gonna play like a mixolydian. So it's a little bluesier. And it goes to an E minor. That's the one on, on the first take, I missed that E minor chord. On the second one, I hit it. So it's E minor. So right there, I'm just going to play an E minor. But really, that's kind of a Dorian feel. So that I have this note right here, the D flat. And then I go to a G. The four chord. I know it sounds like a lot, and it is kind of a lot, but if you can keep it in your mind that what chords are going on right there, you can kind of stay in the same register. So I'll run through it one more time, and um, I'll kind of talk about what I'm playing. Close enough for rock and roll, right? <laughs> Thank you, Rock and the Rockies. Very good to sing and learn to play. Yeah, very good song to to learn and to sing. You know, I was, I was thinking about that, but you know, it's very high. I could you could falsetto, you know, the song, and that's basically how he sings it anyway. It's very light, 
but I wanted to do more of the guitar solo tutorial thing. So no, no singing today. I'm a little rough. <laughs> so can you use the D minor throughout? You can, and I'll show you. I'll do that right now. You could do D minor, but over the major, you can't because you have to take that minor third and bend it up over where it's major chords. Like over the first part, the second chord, you have to kind of like, you have to kind of play major right there because it is a major. Hear that? Over the third chord is so we could play minor. It's like this. Check it out. I'll just do the first three chords. Hear that? Unless you bend up the minor. Try that like that. Hold on a second. Of time. <laughs> we'll try bending up the major third. You just gotta be careful because on the third chord, it has to be pretty much minor. Because you're playing a, a B flat, and there's an F in there, which is the minor. That's what makes it sound kind of cool is playing from major to minor. And over this part, you're playing minor right there. All right, Tom. Good to see you, my man. Thanks for checking in. But yeah, D minor pentatonic right there. So play D. You don't focus too much on the th on the third. You can get away with just playing in the shape right here. Try it. See what it's like right here. I play just the G D. D minor pentatonic. I'm landing on D now. Here's what we gotta change now. We gotta play G and A. Here's the E minor. D. Thank you. 
All right, so you see where I'm going with that? Most of it, you could play a D chord over. Oh, you know, I'm in, in the screen right here. Let me get out of this. Got that different camera angle going. So any questions about any of this stuff? I would say um, once it goes to that, that pre-chorus, that bridge where it goes on the, the B note, when you have to change, it goes to a G, then an A, and then to a D. So you really, you could stay in the same position right here over the G. Just play, then it goes to an A. Really, what's happening is you're playing a D major right there. And then back to D. And then, then an E minor right there. So that would be tricky. So really, it's, it's back to D major. So really, for that E chord, just play an E minor. I'm playing a like an arpeggio right here. And then, then G. So if you played, actually, when it goes to the E chord, if you play an E Dorian, you can play that over the E and the G. Back to the D. And if you're not sure about like Dorian any modes, I have actually have some videos on modes. I'll put links in the, in the description so you can actually check out some of that stuff. So, uh, all right, Oz, man. Glad I cleared that up. I know this could be kind of tricky, but uh, it's a really such a good practice to um, to uh, noodle around in different um, different modes and stuff. Check it out. I'll try to describe as I'm going along with this pass. Here's a G minor. That was Dorian, D Dorian. Mixolydian. Mixolydian. Minor. Major. Dorian. Major. So, still going. Mixolydian. Minor. Mixolydian. Dorian. Major. Keep going. Mixolydian. Mixolydian. Minor. Major. Dorian. There's the change. So it's G major. A. Mixolydian. E minor. G. <laughs> we'll flip it there. Back now back to the start. Mixolydian. Minor. Dorian. Mixolydian, minor, major, Dorian, Mixolydian, minor, major, Mixolydian, minor, D7, E minor, G, and over that last G, I just did like a little country thing where I went down the scale, so if you know these little six, seven, five, four, I just went down from, from the root, seven, six, five. 
I'm taking this third and I'm bending it up. Hitting the fifth. Newbie question. In drop D, how are the G and E chords played? It would be a... Uh... I can get this thing in tune. Hold on a sec. Kind of like this. Yeah. So the G chord, it's tough. I play it like this. Here's the F. It's so bad. This telly doesn't respond well right now to. Play the G like this, G like this, or play it like this one. Hitting the, the fifth fret on the E string. trying to do here <laughs> can't get my low E string in tune use the tuner when all else fails use the tuner I'm just borrowing it basically like this here's the E so it'd be a good G I guess I didn't go over that part Second part. A. And D. E minor. G. Next part will be this part. to E again. <laughs> Any one of those hip shot things you just knock it into place, right? All right, so hopefully you're enjoying this. Hopefully you got something out of this lesson here today. You got it, Jay. Thanks for hanging out today. Really, really cool of you. If you enjoy this, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I like groovy stuff. And um, it's, it's funny because when you see the circle of fifths here, this song has like it starts off in the key of G, because you're playing a D and a C. And then when you hit the B note, you're really in the key of F, because the B flat, I mean, is the four chord of F. And then when you get to the other part where it's F and G, you're in C. 
So right there, it's three different keys. I mean, it's, it's like giant steps, <laughs> right? But if you want to know more about the circle of fifths and all that groovy stuff, I actually have a guitar course that I just released. My very first guitar course is called Essential Skills Collection. It goes over three different elements of playing, which I feel are the most important. Fretboard memorization, which you can memorize the notes all over the place. And the circle of fifths, which I break down how to use that, and playing the blues. So those three things, if you could master those three things, you'd be golden. So check out the course. I put a link at the top of my description. I appreciate that. So hopefully this helped. Osman, you really got something out of this? Awesome. Well, go back and um, and uh, watch this again. If there's any questions, you know, let me know in the comment section. Try to keep it as simple as possible. Really, you could play that D minor, but when you get to the um, to that next part, G, it really to an A. You're a D major. You know, you're really you're really happy. For a second, you know, although I'm playing a D7 over there. So you have a G over that chord. Because he's singing this note. He goes, he's going down the D major scale with his vocal. D. And then the E minor. So this part right here, you can't play a D. It's really going to an E minor. It's really the only time you have to really shift out of position and just play the E minor. When he plays an E minor chord, just play something in E minor. Or even if you want to stay in D, you could just play like the D and then the E together. Play D major riff. That's where you always go wrong on the on the E chord, okay? Because you can't really stay. I mean, if you were to just bend the C up to, you're really gonna bend up a C to a D over an E minor chord, which would work. But if you want to emphasize, if you want to target that chord he's playing, then the G note. He's basically just going down the scale. G, F sharp, E, D. Which comes back to a video I made on the most important lesson that you will ever learn. It's the seven chords of every key. So even though this is in three different keys, you can see how the chords are all resolving in the same way. When it's in G, I mean, what's in D, you have the G, you have the four, three, two, one. Basically, it's like numbers. All right. So hopefully that helped. If you enjoyed this, hit the like button, subscribe. And um, I go live every Sunday. If there's anything you want me to do next week, any ideas, let me know in the comments, in the chats, and I'll do it. So I just wanted you to know that um, next Sunday I have to change. It's not going to because uh, I'm going to have to pick a new time to go live on Sundays or maybe even Monday. I don't know. Let me know what works for you guys too because I'm going to be available. I want you to be available. <laughs> but uh, next Sunday, there will be no 1 o'clock. So it might be 11. It might be on Monday. I don't know. I'll put out a um, a post in the community board, community tab there, and hopefully you'll see that when I can find a good time to do it. Yeah, I didn't realize the song was so tricky either. <laughs> so I'm gonna take one more pass at it, then we'll we'll wrap it up for the day, and um, I'll try to keep it as simple as possible. And um, ask me any questions you want if you if you see anything I'm doing over here.
Thank you guys hopefully you enjoyed all that it's a lot of fun playing this stuff you know a lot of chords a lot of changes hopefully uh, you got something out of this in 40 minutes <laughs> so once again thank you guys for hanging spending some time here with me and i thank kelly kelly does a show as well let me tell you about my friend here kelly she goes live on facebook every thursday and tuesday see i um, i go backwards <laughs> <laughs> Tuesdays and Thursdays at uh, Facebook slash Kelly's Music Corner, where she tells stories and sings. She's got a beautiful voice. Check out Kelly. She really is amazing. Amazing gal. and uh, Very talented. Thank you, Kelly, for being here. And uh, We're Panda. Good stuff again. Thank you, We're Panda. And thank you very much, Ozman, for this idea for this song, because you're going to run into a lot of songs that have major, minor, and this is a really good way to practice. And, oh, I did mention, if you want this backing track, just let me know. Send me a, an email at info at jerrycherry.com, and I will send you, today, I'll send you that backing track. All right, so, you know, let me know in the comment section if you have any questions about any of the stuff, any ways that you solo over it. If you just blaze through it playing D minor pentatonic and it works for you, I'm sure it does. Just, you could do it. Just go crazy and just bend all over the over the place, you know, and it'll work, you know. Just bend the heck out of it, <laughs> out of the strings, you know. Yeah, yeah. Osman's saying she should do a YouTube. Yeah, Osman, I think she should. She should think about it. She should be everywhere. Kelly, you're everywhere. All right, so, all right, guys. And I uh, post a new video every week. Um, I go live every Sunday. But like I was saying, next Sunday is going to be a little different. I don't know. I have to change my scheduling because football season's coming. Kickoff's at 1 o'clock. It's going to be tough for uh, people to tune in at 1 o'clock. So maybe there's a better time. Maybe maybe Mondays work. I don't know. But I'll, I'll keep you posted on what we decide to do for next week. I'll put it in the community. So look out for that. So if there's anything else... I think we got everything here. Talked about everything. Thank you very much, guys. You guys have been great. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Enjoy your Sunday. It's beautiful out here in Brooklyn, New York. And thank you, Ozman. Thank you, We're Panda. Thank you all for tuning in. Thank you, Jay. You guys are really awesome. Thank you, uh, Rockin' the Rockies. Really means a lot. And thank you, Tom G. For spending some time here with me today. I love you. And remember, be cool. Be kind. Be cherry. I'll see you next time. Peace, guys. Love you. And if you want to know more, there's another video I'll put right there on the Circle of Fifths. So <laughs> peace out. See you next time. Ciao.